Hi friends, my name is Anna Hellman and today I have a quick tip to share with you about creating a lot of die cuts at one time that you can either use to create a really interesting design for one card or use each of the cuts on separate cards. Let's take a look at it. So today's tip is to use layering shapes dies such as this one that I have right here. This, these are the circles that came in my stylish shapes set and to cut all of them at once. So I've laid them here on a piece of cardstock. I have lined up all the circles so they are spaced evenly. If you have a hard time holding them in place, you can use a post-it note or a piece of removable tape, washi tape, to put over those and hold them in place. Now, if you really want to do a lot of die cutting at one time, what you can do is put several of these on the platform at one time. I could put some rectangles down here. I could put circles here and squares here and really get a lot of cuts uh, each time I crank this through my cut and emboss machine. So what are we going to do with these? You may be may be asking. There are a lot of things we can do. So here's what we get when we're done with the circles in particular that I just showed you. Of course, like I said, you could do this with other shapes as well. Now, I really like to use when I'm doing this, the shapes that have some stitching or some of the extra little embellishments on them. Uh, one of the reasons I love this set in particular is because it not only cuts the the little details on the inside of each cut, but on the outside as well. So we end up with some really unique pieces with some nice character. So what are we gonna do with these? And I have several ideas here for you. Let's look at this one first. Now let's say you want to stamp something onto your paper before you run it through and die cut it. Uh, this is an example of what we could create with that look. I'll show you another example here in a second about with some designer paper where you just take some printed paper and cut on that. But I wanted to show you different ways to use it. So you could just layer all those pieces there, but I think it's interesting if you take one or take several of those out of there. So this is one example. Now I'll mention that if you're watching this uh, shortly after it's released, uh, all of the stamps and papers that I'm showing you can actually be gotten free right now during a celebration. With any $50 order, you can choose one of these for free. So keep that in mind with the products that I use to decorate these cards. Now on this one, I used all of the circles or most of the circles. I created that really interesting background. And then I just added this cute little owl and greeting over top here. This is from the adorable owl stamp set. So that's another idea. You can create a really interesting background like that. This card right here, I absolutely love how it turned out. So this shows you how you can use one of those. So you could run that through your machine, get lots of these, and then spread them out and use just one on each card as a little frame. You could frame the focal point like what I did here, you could use a smaller one and frame your greeting instead. Uh, but I created this one with the beautifully happy set. This is actually free with the $100 order right now. Uh, but isn't that just a lovely card? I loved how the colors turned out and just how nice and simple that one little frame popped up is. And one more idea for you here is the one that I created with some designer paper. This Day at the Farm designer paper pack is a free option right now. It has some really cute prints in it. Uh, if you happen to love chickens, it's got some really cute chicken prints in it and some other farmy prints as well. Uh, but I, this piece of paper was too pretty to cut and just use a small piece on one card. So I created a slimline card, which highlights a little bit more of it, but I wanted to use this to kind of draw attention to the barn and add a little bit of interest, a little bit of a special touch instead of just putting that designer paper on there without doing anything to it. So I used one, two, three of the dies. I popped the center one up that first ring I actually glued to the card and then I popped up that outer ring. So there's another fun way you can use this technique. So just a quick tip for something fun you can try on some of your future projects. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you like tips and tricks, I have lots of them. Click on my channel name below. You will go to my channel and right there at the top is my card making tips and tricks playlist. You can watch them all day long. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a blessed day. If you're interested in any of these products, take a look at the video description below. I will have links 
The free gift offer is available through February 28th and you can find links there to do your shopping. Thanks so much, have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.